Hi, my name is Evan Daniel, and I've ridden BMX for about four years now. I've always ridden with family, friends, and pros, but one of those pros has always stood out to me. His name is Josh Perry. Hey everyone, my name is Josh Perry. I'm 29 years old. I'm a professional BMX athlete, a holistic health coach, motivational speaker, and I live with four brain tumors. So it was actually a crash one day in 2010 where I hit my head and had to get an MRI that that MRI led to a diagnosis of a brain tumor taking up a good majority of the left side of my brain. Now a year prior to that, I'd gone into the emergency room, urgent care for headaches, nausea, vomiting, vision loss, classic brain tumor symptoms, but they sent me home with pain pills and kept denying me a scan. In 2010, hitting my head, that literally saved my life because my surgeon said, had I not found out about the tumor and I kept going, you know, the route I was on, I wouldn't have woken up one month or two months later. Being diagnosed with a brain tumor, uh, it just, it changed a lot of my perspectives on life. More importantly, it gave me a sense of gratitude to be alive. You know, people sometimes aren't fortunate enough to wake up or do the things that I'm able to do. So uh, mentally, it started out as fear and then it turned into gratitude and then it turned into fuel to be motivated to live my life and continue doing what I was doing. And it was a progression, you know, at first riding took a minute to get back into my normal self, doing the tricks, especially flipping and spinning. It was just, it was weird. But as I've, you know, gone on now, this journey of eight years of since I was originally diagnosed, I just created this uh, sense of mental toughness and perspective, more importantly, just being able to look at things from different angles and really assessing what I want in my life. Um, I don't technically consider myself a hero. You know, I, I think that at the end of the day, we all have the same abilities and like I said, the manner in which we think and then the choices we take after. He's pretty humble. He doesn't like to do any like bad stuff. He just focuses on like his riding and he focuses on what he loves to do. To be considered a hero to one person or another, it's uh, it's an honor and a privilege. So I, uh, I don't know. I'm just DME and living my life. He's just like really inspirational. Like he, even his tone, just the way he talks to people, he he's really inspiring. What I live by is fierce as a thought, thoughts can be changed, and it goes back to perspective, you know. At the end of the day, the biggest choice we have that no one, like nothing and no one can take from us is a choice of how we perceive life and the perspective that we, you know, live each day with. Just the way that he's able to like always find the positives and things really, <laughs> it really, uh, it really inspires me to, you know, look for find the positives even when I'm going through like a tough day you know I'll watch Josh's YouTube videos or his Instagram and it really like gets me you know it gets me inspired what makes me happiest today is different than when I set out on this journey when I set out on this journey it was you riding my bike my bike made me the happiest what makes me happiest today is when I feel like I'm having an impact if I'm you know sharing my life and helping others um, that that's what makes me the happiest is for someone to say thank you for sharing Whatever it was, it helped me. Uh, that, that makes me the happiest. The trick I fell on is called a flare whip. And the easiest way to explain this is you go up a, a quarter pipe and you go and do a backflip and a 180. So that way you, when you land, you're landing forwards. But while you're upside down flipping and spinning, you're jumping off the pedals, kicking the back end of the bike around while hanging onto the handlebars. And then you're supposed to catch and land. The first time I tried this trick out of the foam pit on a real ramp, I overcompensated the rotation because I got scared and fell and hit my head. And that's the trick that led to the MRI that found the brain tumor and ultimately saved my life. So we're gonna get a flare whip in here on the resi, which we didn't have back then. It's our padded ramp for new tricks to be safe. Josh continues to spread his story, inspiring others all around him. He's a constant reminder of how he himself is a hero to all of us.